Section 1, Working Efficiently, Lesson 3, Hyperlinks. This is the Maneuvers section. We've been asked to open the data file links, that's the one that's open on the screen. It's a multi-page document, this is page 1 of 9, and it also has a table of contents that's already been set up for you. On the first page, move the mouse pointer over the first line of the table of contents, in other words, over the word Introduction. As I roll over, all I'm going to be able to do is to select text. If, on the other hand, I press Control, then it turns into a hand, and as I press with the left mouse button, while that Control button is still pressed, it'll take me to the destination, which is the word Introduction. OK, so that's worked beautifully. Now, what we want to do next is to create a bookmark so we can see how to set up a hyperlink to link to a bookmark. So we're going up to the top of, top of the top of the document again. This time we're going to highlight the word contents. And what we want to do is to insert this as a bookmark. So we go onto the insert menu. As we go look along the bar, what we find is the word links in the links group, and in there you'll find the word bookmark. It asks you what do you want to call it. We've been told to call it contents. Once we've put that in, press add. And at that stage, we've set up the bookmark as being the location we wish to link to. Now we need to set up the hyperlink that triggers the move to that location. So we've been asked to move to the last sentence of the document, which is click here to return to the contents page. And what we want to do here is to select the word here, and we're going to turn that text into a hyperlink. So in the link section again, go for hyperlink. We want to link to a place that's actually in this document, so we click on place in this document and then within the bookmark section we should find our um, destination which is the bookmark that was called contents so click on that and then press OK right the hyperlink has now been applied let's just check whether that actually is the case so control click takes me to the word contents. Everything has worked exactly how I wanted it to. I mentioned earlier that images can also be set up as hyperlinks, so let's see how we do that. We've been asked to move to page 2, and on there you'll find a, an image of a shark. Select the shark image, click hyperlink and this time we're going to link to a an existing web page and the web page is going to be called www.ciatraining.co.uk press OK to apply that and now click away first and if we do control and then click it will then open the web browser to direct us to the CIA training web page. And there it is. It's also possible to amend existing hyperlinks. So, what we're going to do, we're going to close the web page. We're going to click on the shark. We're going to select hyperlink. And this time, what we're going to do is to change the address from CIA training to CIA support. Let me see if I can get that right. I think I've got that right. Press OK, and then again, click away first. Control, you've got your hand, click. And what should happen now, it should change, take us to the, a different website, this one being called ciasupport.co.uk. OK. 
finally, to remove a hyperlink, all we do, select your image, right click, and remove hyperlink. And at that point, any links to anywhere else just aren't in place anymore. Okay, I hope this has been of some use for you, and let's meet you again on the next lesson.